In this video, let's talk about series. Let's see what do we exactly mean by a series of numbers. Now, series essentially is a sequence. Okay, series is a sequence. Series, let us denote it as uh, Sn. Sn, it's a sequence Sn where n is greater than or equal to 1 for any n greater than or equal to 1, the term Sn is the sum of the first n terms. So the term Sn is the sum of the first n terms. So what do we mean by that? Essentially, in case Sn has been derived from a sequence, a n then s1 so the, the terms in a n will be a1 a2 a3 and so on and so forth okay use the curly brackets right now so s1 is essentially s1 a1 s2 essentially is a1 plus a2 s3 will be a1 plus A2 plus A3, so on and so forth. So what will be Sn? Sn is the sum of the first n terms. So it will be A1 plus A2 plus so on and so forth till An. So that will be your Sn term. Okay, the Sn term. So the convergence conditions for this series will actually rely on the behavior of the term or of the terms of the sequence. Okay. So this means that convergence of Sn relies on the behavior of these terms ai's okay so that is the terms of the sequence a n n greater than or equal to one so sn convergence will depend on a n okay so so we clear about what essentially is a series so sn is a series is a series Generated by, generated by the terms of the sequence a n. Okay, it is generated by the terms of the sequence a n. Now, if s n, if s n is convergent is convergent then that means that that is the limit of the that is the limit of the sum of the series okay if it is convergent that means it is the limit of the sum of the series and that's because that's because now Sn essentially the term Sn okay and a term of the series is equal to summation Ai I going from 1 to n right so essentially it is when you take limit as n tends to infinity limit as n tends to infinity of Sn essentially limit as n tends to infinity of A1 plus A2 plus so on and so forth to An. Okay, right? It is essentially the sum. It is essentially the sum of Ai is where I goes from 1 to infinity because n is moving towards infinity so essentially it is a sum it is the sum 
which goes from 1 to infinity and that is why that is why we call we call it the sum of the series the sum of the series which is essentially which is essentially the limit of the sequence of partial sums okay partial sums so this is essentially a sequence of partial sums and the limit of that is sum of the series so you call it the sum of the series that's what is a series a series is derived from sequence and hence it becomes the sequence of partial sums